The trade deadline is behind us. I'm John Morosi with your so rare trade deadline recap. Jake Berger goes to the Miami Marlins. What an outstanding fit he is there in South Florida. 25 home runs already this season with the White Sox. I expect his run production to pick up with Luis Arias on the bases ahead of him. Now, Aaron Savali goes to the Tampa Bay Rays. Typically, when a pitcher goes to the Rays, he gets even better. That is really good news for so rare managers who have Savali in their lineup because he's already having the best all around season of his major league career. Paul DeYoung goes to the Blue Jays. I really expect his production to pick up with a new team. He's going to get a lot of at-bats, whether it's at second base or shortstop, as long as Bo Bichette is out of the Toronto lineup. DeYoung's former teammate in St. Louis is now his divisional opponent in Baltimore. That is Jack Flaherty. Flaherty's had an ERA of around three in the month of July, a very good sign for someone who is moving closer to that form that made him a Cy Young candidate back in 2019. Paul Sewald, the new closer of the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's already got a career high in saves. He is going to add to that total in Arizona. Plenty of save opportunities for him, especially with a younger rotation. The Diamondbacks have to lean on their bullpen a lot. Should be a lot of appearances there for Paul Sewald. That's a very important, so rare scoring category as well. And finally, last but not least, Justin Verlander going back to the Houston Astros. His ERA is under two over his final seven starts as a member of the New York Mets. He goes back to the team with which he won a World Series championship just last year. And we always know he's done some of his very best work with Martin Maldonado behind the plate. We'll see that pairing a lot over the final two months for manager Dusty Baker.